Hi, my name is Agatha. Welcome in Agatha's Cottage. Today it's Friday Sauce. Hashtag Friday Sauce was started by Jen from today in Jen's sewing room. Under this hashtag you will find a lot of vloggers posting every Friday or Saturday um, about their makes, about their week, a little bit about their plans. I love watching Friday Sauce videos, they are my favorite. Question of the week. Actually, I have it written in my notepad. Transition to new season. What are you making? I actually have a lot of plans to make for a uh, fall winter seasons and I will have a separate video about that. So I will go back to that subject probably not next week, but the following week there will be new video. Uh, I do have a very long list of videos I want to make or are in middle of making uh, so I cannot wait uh, to share those plans with you guys now um what else what I made last week so what I made is one of this top actually I'm gonna put my things here so I made this top I added here little um iron on strawberry um, motif um fabric is from my stash i have it for a few years it's viscous jersey i did pattern from autobra i actually have the magazine with me and i will show you the line drawings so it's just standard basic top it's from autobra number five from 2020 I did few changes so um, first when I was tracing it uh, I traced the neckline for the smaller size so I wanted it to go deeper uh, because I knew that I won't be doing binding I wanted to do uh, ribbing for the neck band uh, I also added the back seam and I did small sway, sway back adjustment I need to make a bigger one but uh, i didn't want to do it in this because i didn't want it to be snug because it's the stripe so if it would be if it would be pulled back on my back then you know it will expose my tummy too much so i added um, the side seam here i'm actually quite proud of my uh, pattern matching <laughs> um I did uh, additional half of the inch for the uh, length of the sleeve uh, because I normally need to do it like half of an inch to an inch and I did smaller hem allowance than uh, in the pattern uh, I did the same length for the top and I love how it turned out it's very comfortable and you know I, I had this idea in my head of a uh, stripy top with like a navy black stripes so that's it's not strictly navy but it's not black either so it's like mix of two colors um, and with the red accents so I was originally planning to do a uh, bias binding but I don't have any red bias binding uh, so I just added ribbing and I do have few colors of ribbing, like a red shades of ribbing in my stash. And I actually did this top on Wednesday and I had to wait till daylight yesterday to match the color of the ribbing to the strawberries. One of those things that would bother me along the way that I didn't match the shade. I made it fully on my uh, sewing machine using Maraflex thread and for the back i'm not sure if you can see i covered the uh, back seam so nothing is rubbing off against my neck uh, as you might know i have dermatitis and uh, skin on my neck and upper back is extremely sensitive and prone to um, let's say outbreaks that's that's the most gentle thing to say and it's not really comfortable or pleasant or painless so I try to avoid back seams like not back seams 
expose seam as much as I can because it doesn't matter how soft the thread is or how soft the fabric is it's just the friction kind of thingy that's causing uh, my skin to flare up and the uh, autumn season is extremely difficult because of that so I do try to be preventive that's the best way to explain it now what else I did? I did PJs for Alice. Uh, I'll pop the picture here because she loved it so much. She grabbed it and uh, she was already sleeping in it last night. So the kitty fabric is from unfortunately closed already uh, shop in Newbridge Whites. And red and white stripes are from EcoWeave. Alice loves it. Uh, pattern is from one of the archive autobre from a good few years ago. I made her previously uh, PJs using the same pattern and she loves it. There's plenty of room for her to grow. So what else I did? I actually did some mending. Uh, one of Alice's favorite uh, onesies had a little hole that one of our cats accidentally made. So it has to be mended and you know a few little bits and pieces like that i also did um band it's not called bandana it's called necker okay so chris and alice are in scouts and they have those like a triangle scarf thingies that are wearing with their shirts etc or their uh, jumpers and uh chris's uh like they ordered them from UK and apparently the size that come out was correct however the binding was one centimeter instead of one inch I will actually pop the picture of the one that I already changed so um, then basically it's actually I have Alice's one so I will show you it's not ironed sorry I need to pull it out from my ironing pile so that's Alice's one. So Chris's one is obviously bigger because it's for an adult. So it had very narrow binding instead of the deeper one. And when it was rolled off whatever folded the way it has to be, it wasn't looking correct. Apparently there are some regulations, etc. etc. So I was asked could I give it a try and change it so it will uh, match whatever Alice's looks like um, and of course luckily I had matching fabric in my stash uh, and I spent two evenings unpicking the seams because whoever did the binding on it was meticulous with very very narrow stitches I don't think that it was more than 1.5 the length of the stitch and it was triple stitch each bias binding so it took me good two evenings to unpick everything and i couldn't go with the normal seam ripper because i was worried that the fabric will crack because it was um, like the main fabric was poly cotton and not full cotton and uh, it seems like the needle that was used to do the binding was on the larger side so there were big holes so i was using my trusty seam ripper from uh, taxi uh, i will actually pop the picture above it's like look like a knife it's extremely sharp so i highly recommend it when you have difficult things to unpick but you need to be very careful because it's extremely easy to really hurt yourself i accidentally once um stopped myself with it and um yeah it wasn't pretty <laughs> sorry <laughs> call it like that anyway i spent two evenings unpicking it and then i spent roughly four hours doing the binding on it because i wanted to mimic how it was done originally and you know i had to figure out myself which part goes where and what time because it's like it has special closing here how it's closed and it's different closing here so um 
and I wanted everything to be even so you know I was sewing and unpicking sewing and unpicking but anyway uh, I spent good three hours on Sunday morning and good two hours on Saturday evening slowly going very slowly on, on, on my machine but it's done now I have four more to go or three more to go for another uh, for other leaders in the group but I said it's gonna take a while because unfortunately it's a very time consuming thing so what else I did oh I did a skirt up cycle actually let me grab a skirt a few months ago I actually went through my wardrobe and I pull out all the things that I wasn't wearing for random reasons so I wanted to either reuse them for something or change something about them to make them wearable and I had this skirt and I made it as one of the first things I ever made it was actually before I got an overlocker it's um, just normal jersey not really best quality but it's nice and I needed a kind of black skirt in my wardrobe and unfortunately the fabric shrink during next few washes a lot so instead of being knee length it was like I would say low tie but still I didn't feel appropriate in it um, so I wanted to figure out a way to make it longer but I didn't have any of this fabric left so I couldn't figure out like I was playing with the idea of adding a band on the bottom with the ribbing and then I was playing with the idea of adding just jersey or some ruffles and I wasn't really happy about either of them and then recently I was doing a bit of research about the trends for uh, coming uh, fall winter season and what pop out is that leather is apparently a big thing or fall leather um, and I thought actually I have a fall leather from Ecobee that would be a good idea I can try to add it for the bottom so I added it's roughly seven inches in the length so I measure how much the skirt is in the width uh, and then how much I need I did a tiny little slip here uh, actually it was uh, surprisingly pleasant to sew with uh, I use universal needle size 90 uh, on it it was Grant was very very nice to sew with to be honest I was surprised how easy and nice it is because I was a bit scared that you know it might be too flimsy but it's not and I will put the pictures up up here somewhere it looks nice it looks better in, in real life than on the pictures or you know just shown here um, I don't have shaping underwear or anything like it so it's not as flattering as it should be but it's uh, it looks nice and I'm glad I can have something that I can pair it with you know uh, flats or boots uh, and tights and it will be worn now more than it was before so uh, that's my upcycle and I think that's all the things I made I did work on dresses for dresser girl I did work on blouse for my sister-in-law I haven't started on Alice's uh, jacket yet I just need a bit more time to work on that but you know things are moving so my plans for next week first is um, finished blouse for Chris's sister uh, she's taking Alice uh, for last few weeks to the swimming pool uh, every Saturday or Sunday and I just wanted to say thank you uh, so I'm making her Rhapsody blouse and um, I talked about this two or three weeks ago just haven't had the chance to finish it uh, so that's one thing I wanted to do then uh, I'm working on the video for Dress a Girl uh, 
the sewing action organized by Mary from Mary Shows. And you will hear all about this if you will watch Mary's video. I will leave the link to the uh, launch video below because by the time I'm done with this video, it should be up already. So my video will be on the 6th of September and I cannot wait to show you what I come up with. Uh, so that's the most urgent plans. And for the rest of the month, I will be alternating my sewing. So one day it will be sewing dresses for Dresser Girl. The next day I will be sewing stuff for our fall winter wardrobe. Um, and about that a little bit more in the minute because I have some new fabrics for that. Uh, and it wasn't my fault. It was Chris and Alice who forced me to buy them. <laughs> Maybe not forced, but insisted. That's it. That's a good word. So that's my, my sewing plans. I do have, uh, sorry, oh, I have cuts hair everywhere today. So I have a lot of video making plans. Uh, part is in progress, part is just on the paper. But if there is any specific video you would like me to make, just leave the comment below. Uh, I'm really interested what you like uh, to see from me. So now let's go to bit of haul. If you watched my video last week, you know I was uh, planning to get more buttons from uh, so Irish, the company uh, from which I bought the buttons for Alice uh, overalls. Um, so I got them and they are here. I bought the last two. I wish they had more, but it is what it is. So we will make a, a jacket and just the breast pocket will have those buttons or maybe the cuffs I haven't decided yet and of course I had to buy more things because you know me it was just pointless to pay shipping on just two buttons so I got something that I was on the lookout for a very very long time you know I despise paying a full amount for big four patterns and I will buy them when they are on a sale. But that's the only one ever that I actually bought at the full price. It's Simplicity S9388. Uh, it's the shacket pattern, the same shacket pattern but that uh, Tiffany from Hoser Handmade made a few times and she was raving about this pattern. So I had to get it. I was look on, uh, looking on it on Amazon and a few other places and it was sold out, sold out, sold out. So when by accident I actually saw it at So Irish, I was like, no, I'm buying it. Doesn't matter how much it costs. I really want to make just a pattern. So next thing I got is little uh, bridal looping in ivory color. Uh, I have in my head hack for Rhapsody blouse I want to make for myself and I need this for the hack. Uh, I got one meter and I think that would be more than enough for my needs. Now what else? Uh, I got more of those kitty buttons because Alice and I come up with the plan of making her uh, blouse and we just needed more buttons. I got a khaki or olive green cord for my nephew's uh, hoodie um, I will be making him hoodie probably in the last week of September so uh, I just wanted to get cord to match the fabric I got for the hoodie I got two big snaps uh, to fix my kind of autumn winter coat uh, it's a ready to wear but it just needs more closure so i got big snaps i got more bobbins for my genomi so they're just universal bobbins for genomi i hope they will fit and what else oh i got chalk because i don't know what it's i'm silly i will draw stuff on the floor because I'm like 
for cutting my fabrics on the floor and I will leave the chalk and then I will move my knee and I will smash the knee with the chalk. Uh, sorry, the chalk with the knee, not the knee with the chalk. So I recently just basically there was a powder left of whatever I had. So I got more. I got interfacing for the waistband. So um, I have trousers planned and I was on the lookout for this interfacing for a while and uh, I asked uh, in few shops that I thought that they might have it but they didn't and by accident when I was browsing what they have uh, in so Irish uh, I spotted it so I got two meters or three I don't remember but it was quite cheap and it was recommended in two patterns I'm thinking of making so I thought that I will just have it in my stash you know I do like to have things like that in my stash to make my life easier whenever the mood strikes uh, I also got the washable uh, stabilizer for embroidery I have few ideas for Christmas gifts and I just wanted to have some stabilizer ready and I got two fabrics so sorry so um, I want to make myself a blazer kind of jacket for autumn something in nude tone, tone like a camel colors and I spotted this remnant of Ponty it has nice stretch and it's not too heavy so I thought it would be perfect there is a meter and a half so I will get like a short crop type of uh, jacket out of it and then I got a um, scuba in light grey for a sibyl skirt from love notions i haven't made this pattern uh, this pattern yet so i wanted to make a pencil skirt with the um the tummy control panel uh, so i thought that i will give it a go and scuba was one of the recommended fabrics uh, to try it so um that's all the stuff i got from so irish what else i had delivery for um, it could be fabrics so and um, you know that i love all the multicolor melange uh cuffings i got from ecobi a few months ago and i think that was tuesday yes on tuesday lv uh, dropped the message uh, on the shop page that uh, she had delivery of french terry in three of the colorways and chris spotted it and he was like, oh, I want hoodie in that. And then Alice looked at it. Oh, I want leggings in that. So mommy had to go shopping. I got delivery yesterday and I'm in love. I think I'm going to buy more just for myself. So this is French Terry in the sunset colorway. It's gorgeous. So it would be hoodie for Chris has good stretch and uh, that's the back side I actually do love back side it's very nice and uh, it's very soft very like pleasant to touch cold <laughs> like that Chris said he's very very happy and he wants me to make it uh, yesterday basically I told him he needs to wait a few days because it needs to be washed etc now I got the remnant of the uh, jacquard in it. I think it was meter 20, meter 30 or something like that. So it's this olive green khaki color. It's very stretchy and I got it for a cardigan, like a short cardi. Um, I do like jacquards for cardigans. I'm not necessarily biggest fan of, ha of having the jacquard uh, inside of the jacquard knit against my skin because as you know my dermatitis so i do like them for the cardigans uh, and uh, it's very nice i was like i was eyeing this color since 
April probably and I was like next time next time and then I noticed it's just a remnant so I thought I better grab it because it when it's gone it's gone then the color wave that Alice chose for the um, melange fabric is this one so um, I don't remember I think it's called ocean or waves or something like that but I will leave all the links below so it's lovely and Alice wants leggings in it so um, we were actually doing purge of her uh, wardrobe the other day and turn out she has zero warm leggings so I need to get on and make her some because you know it's getting colder I got half of the meter of the zebra print uh, and I have a very quirky uh, plan for it so um, I'm thinking of using this on the inside of the vest like a autumn vest I'm planning to make uh, and maybe if I will have any remnants left the detachable collar I could use with the um, denim jacket or with my coat you know something more out there oh I also got this um, it's like a burgundy waffle knit and I have two ideas for that either long duster type cardigan or a like a dress like an autumn type of dress I haven't decided yet I actually got this fabric using the reward points uh, so uh, it was on a sale and I think I got two or two and a half meters uh, by the way every time you shop in Ecobee you get uh, reward points and you can use them up wherever you want so I did my part of order first and then uh, I realized oh actually I have points to use so I got the burgundy one and the last thing I got it's this jacquard knit this one is super soft it's so nice and actually it's all nice on the inside too and uh, I have a dress pattern in mind uh, from Autobra magazine. It's classic a line style dress and it has like a seam on the front and a little bit of top stitching and I thought that this will look fabulous in it. And I didn't have any stable need in required quantity in my stash. So that's all the fabrics I got from Ecobee. I actually also got two threads uh, they were a gift from Alvi so she usually puts a little little sweet or uh, previously they were fabric panels uh, she used to put some uh, beeswax candles and now there are some threads and they will be very handy when I'm sewing dresses for dress a girl even you know to, to overlock uh, inside or do the overlocking stitch so that's all the fabrics I got and all the um, haberdashery stuff. I did got a few patterns recently. Uh, I got the, I think it's called Jordan uh, Knit uh, Bra from Petit Stitchery. I'm not the biggest fan of bras. I do wear them because, you know, I'm not 20 anymore. But I'm not the biggest fan of them. I do prefer sports brass versus the normal actual brass. Uh, I never find them comfortable, but I thought that I would give it a try. Uh, it's on a sale, I think, for seven dollars. So I thought, you know, it's uh, it's good thing to try. Maybe I will find something that's more comfortable than than standard wire bra and a little bit more feminine than sports bra. And I also got the dress pattern. Uh, I got email like a newsletter from each to stitch yesterday, and they have this gorgeous new dress. It's fabulous. Like I loved all the testers' photos, and it never happens. 
and so many people with the similar body shape look great in those dresses it's a sleeveless dress kind of smart uh, with a collar like a double sided or notched collar i think that's how it's called and it's double breasted it has a belt and it has princess themes and it's fitted and it's just fabulous i just loved it and everyone looked great in that dress and i already had a vision of uh, getting myself some gray or maybe dark red uh, faux leather from eco b and making the leather version of that dress i haven't made any version i just bought it last night so you know it's, it's gonna be a while but it very rarely happens that i see the pattern and i love it so much that i actually stopped doing whatever i was doing and i just got the pattern it very rarely happens so i will leave the link to the to the pattern uh, below it's gorgeous then um, after that i saw a short by whitney from tomcat stitchery her dress is fabulous it's just so elegant and sexy at the same time and it's just just gorgeous so i can't wait to make it it's not gonna be anytime soon you know it's reality but i do hope i will make it before next spring <laughs> hopefully we'll see i wanted to thank uh, sam from sequin girls create for a lovely shout out uh, this week uh, she is doing a small channel mentions uh, on her channel and it was so lovely that she chose my channel to recommend so thank you sam uh, i'm honored and it was a very pleasant surprise i wanted to give my own small channel shout out to lisa from southern seamstress uh, i will leave the link to channels uh, below as to everything so lisa has a uh, less than 400 subscribers uh, she has few videos on her channel she is lovely lady she does great pattern reviews and uh, recently she was doing the mood fabric um, fabric haul and the pattern reviews and the things she made are fabulous i loved watching her videos i think i watched all of them i think that's all from me for today what are your sewing plans? Are you planning to make something for fall winter season or you are still doing back to school? Are you sewing dresses for dress a girl? If not and you need pattern recommendations, there will be plenty of videos this month to watch. And I'm sure you have something in your stash you can use for this good cause. So don't forget, clean your machine and change your sewing needle. Happy sewing. Bye.